Hello guys, my name is Mr. Massaro. I'm here to tell you today how to recover refrigerant from a system. First of all, you want to make sure that you zero out your gauges. You pull the little plastic thing out here, you take your three-in-one screwdriver, you stick it in a hole and you make sure you zero out to the center. You hook up your gauges, red goes to your high pressure side, blue goes to your low pressure side. All right? Then you want to open up your lines and your gauge will show you that you have refrigerant in the system. All right, so now we want to bleed out the air in the lines so that uh, we don't recover air into the system. All right, so we're going to open this up here. We're going to open this up here one at a time, one side at a time here to relieve the air out until it gets cold. And we close that, close this side, open up the other side, and do the same thing. So it gets cold, then we close it, all right? We want to make sure that our tank is at 80%. So what we do is we take uh, the wet uh, water column here and the tear weight, and we subtract the tear weight from the water column, which is the full weight of the tank. And uh, we then multiply that number by 80% and add it to uh, the empty weight, and that will give us our 80%, which will be 24 pounds in the small tank. All right, so then we open uh, up the tank. All right, we're going to zero out our scale so we know how much we're taking out. Then we are going to open this up and turn this on at the same time. All right, our gauges are wide open here. And you'll notice that it's going to start going down. Whoop, what did we do wrong here? Things should be open. All right. You're going to notice here that the gauges are going to start to go down. All right. Once we get to zero, if we had a leak, we would just take this and shut it off. But since we don't have a leak in this system, we're going to go down into the mercury, which is in the green here. So we're going to treat this as if it had a leak in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to shut our gauges here. All right, we're going to let the pump continue to pull into uh, our tank. And we're going to shut off our hose here. All right, let whatever's in the pump continue to pump into the can. Then we're going to close the can and shut off our unit. All right, that will hopefully with the Apion get as much refrigerant back into the can. All right, and then you can disconnect and rem remember always take the refrigerant, point it toward the ground, open up your hose to release it because it falls to the ground. You don't want it falling on you and breathing it in. And that concludes this session. Go to the YouTube video at the bottom and log in to watch this video. Thank you.